Welcome to Learn JavaScript on Codecademy. We're in the variable section. This is lesson two, create a variable. It says, let's dive in and see a variable in the wild. Here's how you declare a variable. It shows us here, there's var my name is assigned aria. Then they console log my name, and this will output aria. It says you can almost read it out loud variable my name is equal to aria let's dissect that statement and look at its parts var short for variable is the javascript keyword that will create a new variable for us so here this is the variable declaration and then we give our variable a name and then we assign something to that variable that we want this variable to contain so aria is going to be represented by the variable my name so whenever we want to call forth aria we can just call that variable my name is chosen by a developer that's you so we get to choose uh, what that variable is going to be called and it says notice that the word has no spaces and each new word is capitalized so the name is capitalized because it's a new word if they would say my name is you would uh same make i capital and then s lowercase that's just a convention like it says here it's a common convention and is called camel case it's just the norm that people do when creating variables the equal sign means to assign whatever's next to the variable so this is our variable it's going to assign aria into my name aria is the value that the equals assigns into the variable my name again that's what I just said aria will be assigned to our variable my name after the variable is declared we can print the variable with console.log and just throw in our variable in in between parentheses and it's going to print aria to the console which it would print it here on the right side so instructions one says variables must be strong to hold all of our stuff exactly how strong are they create a variable named strength and assign the string 50,000 pounds to it so we can go here into our editor and we're just going to create a variable called strength and we're gonna assign to it the string you could do double or single um, 50,000 pound so we are doing exactly what it says here we create a variable named strength and we assign the string 50,000 pounds so if we go ahead and run this as you guys can see that one was passed even though I actually forgot my semicolon there but yeah that's what we're what we're supposed to do there it says now now under the strength variable type we're gonna do a console log and they want us to console log how much stuff can a variable hold and then that space is important and then they do a comma and then we add in our variable strength. Now we know what can a variable hold just about anything. So before I click run, the logic behind this is console log is going to log something onto the console here. We tell it to console log this string, which is going to say how much stuff can a variable hold. We end our string there, and then we also add strength which has another string which is 50,000 pounds so it should actually log both the first string how much stuff can a variable hold and 50,000 pounds onto the console here so altogether it'll say how much stuff can a variable hold 50,000 pounds so let's go ahead and run that as you guys can see here in our console 50,000 pounds was also added here. You see there's a uh, extra spaces which can also 
be fixed if you really want to do that and like that and now it looks a little better but that is lesson two create a variable